Howdy ladies and gentlemen, I got a video for you today. I got two AR-15 bolt carrier groups. One of them works, one of them doesn't. And I'll show you that today. So the one that does not work is getting shipped back to where I bought it from. I got it from Optics Planet a few days ago. And I've tried it in two different uppers, two different lowers, different springs. Um, different ammo. I only had one buffer I could use so I only tried it with one buffer but nonetheless it just will not function. My old one functions fine and the new one that I bought that's the exact same thing as the one that's failing works fine in every combination I tried it in. So arrow precision I don't know what your deal is but please fix whatever that was going on here. So what we have right here is the brand new Aero Precision uh, bolt carrier group. The part number is APRH100071C. So this is the one that I bought from my local gun store. And I'm gonna show you that today. It functions flawlessly. These Aero Precision bolt carrier groups are the highest rated bowl carrier groups on Optics Planet. So I expect a little bit better. I have pretty much nothing but Aero Precision here. I have their entire Aero Precision upper, Aero Precision lower, Aero Precision buffer tube. Um, I have their Ballistic Advantage barrel right here. Their gas blocks, gas tubes. So I'm a huge Aero Precision fanboy. I've had nothing but good luck with them until right. now. So. Cycles perfectly fine, throws the brass, chambers a new round, no issues there whatsoever. So let's put in my old Aero Precision. This one's probably about three or four years old. And I'll show you how that functions. Flawless. Okay, now this is the bad one. So if there's nothing binding up, it feels as loose, as loose or as tight as any of the other ones. I don't feel anything abnormal. I don't feel any kind of burrs or anything hitting anything. But it will not cycle whatsoever. So here's chambering around. Chamber is just fine. Okay, firing. And it did not go back. So I gotta manually pull the spent brass out of that. Chamber another one. Same thing. Another one. Let's 
So the exact same thing every single time. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see the bolt is not cycling. Same thing every time. Okay. With my old BCG, you know, I was trying to figure out what could be the issue here. I ended up taking out the bolt and the bolt cam pin and putting it into the failing unit and swapping out the bolt and the bolt cam from the failing unit into my old bolt carrier. My old bolt carrier ran fine, uh, flawless, with the failing bolt carrier's bolt and bolt cam pin. The failing bolt carrier group that had my good bolt and good bolt uh, cam pin, oh gosh, kept failing. So there's something wrong with the carrier itself or the gas key on top of it, um, or I guess the firing pin, but I mean, as you can see, it, it is firing. So probably nothing wrong with the firing pin, but no matter what I did with the bolt or the bolt cam pin, swapping it from good unit to bad unit, no matter what combination I had it in, the carrier itself made sure that I had uh, a failure to cycle. So something's wrong with the gas key or the shape of the carrier. I can't see any binding. I can't see any tight spots that would impede it or hinder it from being able to slide back. But even if there was, it's just aluminum. So you'd think a 5.56 five, round would easily be able to overpower a little burr and run that burr straight through your aluminum upper. So if something's wrong with the gas key, I'm guessing. There's no way I could see or check if this is a good or a bad gas key. So this is my new one. This is the bad one right here. But I can't see a bad gas key. I have no, no idea how to test it. I did weigh the two side by side. So my, uh, my good one weighs 331 grams. My bad one weighs 334 grams. So three grams is really nothing when it comes to something as heavy and as and big as this. So I'm not sure if the weight is acceptable even between good bull carrier groups. So whether or not that's, that's an issue, I don't know. But I did notice that the bad one had three bad burrs right here on the contacting surfaces where it slides. It just didn't look like it got tumbled enough compared to my four-year-old bowl carrier group. This one looks really smooth, really well polished. Everything looks uh, rounded, so nothing looks like it's gonna cut you or shave any metal in the in the upper receiver. The This new design with the Aero Precision logo on it just did not look very smooth. Now, I like the, the whole chiseled look to the bowl carrier group. I think that looks really nice. Functionally, though, it's probably not a great idea for wear on your upper receiver if there's just sharp edges all over it and burrs and just things that aren't tumbled enough but even side to side the two the two bull carrier groups that are the exact same part number that are the exact same type of uh, build with the logo and everything on it you can see side by side that they are actually different so one got tumbled more in some spots than another one one got polished more in some spots than the other one 
and it, it was kind of vice versa like one part would be better on one the other part would be better on the other um, uh, some of them kind of had burrs on the contacting surfaces one of them kind of has like a ding uh, down here where the M16 cutout is so something's going on at Aero Precision where they're either doing all the buffing and, and tumbling by hand or it's not on a timer I have no idea but something's different and the functioning one looks like it's got a slightly lower quality nickel boron coating on it it doesn't feel as slick or as uh, smooth so it looks kind of dimpled, dimpled almost like a micro micro dimple now I don't think any of that has any bearing on whether or not it cycles because as you can see it just will not run in two different uppers I have tested it it will not run in two different lowers so any single time I had that particular carrier in any of the combinations it will not run so any any ideas questions comments concerns put it in the comments if you got any ideas for how you like these videos to run uh, put it up put that in the comments or direct message me I check absolutely everything I respond to everything so thanks for watching guys